guys good morning and welcome to my morning routine which you know you've already been here since i woke up every day i wake up well monday through friday i wake up at 6 15 a.m um this has been starting since the new year like january 1st i was just like i have to do this and 2018 waking up early was really tough for me i was just really pushing myself to wake up but now I am waking up so happy, energized, ready for my day, and looking forward to something. 6.15 I wake up, and then, you know, I do, I wash up, like you've already seen what I do. Um, then at 6.30 I do my yoga. I've been doing yoga with Adrian. I've been doing yoga with Adrian since 2018, but I wasn't taking it so serious. I was just, like, trying to, like, you know, dip my feet in. Like, I want to try it, but I don't know yet. Once I heard that she was doing a whole, like, month in january with all new videos something click into me like you have to do this for some reason it was making me look forward to the next day to waking up i do print out each month this is the february i do have the january in my drawer and each day i highlight when i do that yoga practice the only new videos from adrian is on sundays every other day is just videos she has previously from you know her channel but yeah um now i am just going to you know color that in so it's like a check off like yes you did it and then i have to go into my planner write a little bit more check things off so yeah i hope you are enjoying this video now i always put this right here on my dream i guess this is like my dream net like dream board but dream net put this up here so i can always see it and we're good to go i'm reading both of these books right now first time i'm ever reading two books at once i'll be grabbing this one right now Hello, hello, hello. Now, you've already seen, every single time I finish with my meditation, I go and I eat and then I read as well. That's like my relaxing time. I mean, this whole thing, since I wake up, is just relaxing. It's just like a calming, um, calming morning and it feels really, really good. I said earlier, like in 2018, it was really hard for me to wake up early. I didn't want to wake up. Even when I did wake up early, it's like my body felt so tired. I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to sleep, sleep, sleep. But this year, I guess I can say when I took away the negative a lot from my like people to just like thinking certain ways, I felt much better. And then like I said, um, waking up with purpose something that i was excited for the next morning and i'm gonna say this i don't do this every day because i do babysit monday through friday i do wake up every day at 6 15 a.m and then i'll do yoga and meditation well if it's that day to do meditation monday wednesday and fridays i do meditation tuesday and thursdays i don't at seven o'clock i will try to find something else to do maybe read or something so things will change when i'm babysitting it's like my time is on her time when i'm not babysitting this is what i do i'm gonna do like a little few things before working out at nine just a little mini workout because i do go to the gym now i still work out at home three to four times a week and then i go to the gym maybe two three times a week
You know, you just saw my clip. I was putting a card out for my Animal Spirit deck, and these are tarot cards. I purchased these Animal Spirit ones because they say when you are purchasing tarot cards you should go with the one that speaks to you and this one speaks to me one i am just an animal person so i was just like oh why freaking not so i do this when i really feel like it's time for me to pull a card out i'll pull a card out like you saw me do i'll place it right on my tv stand until i feel like it's not meant for me no more and i do this in a positive state of mind i pulled out the um, snake card this book has the meaning of each card the snake it says guardian of unawakened magic and creative potential the snake is a symbol of our highest potential it is said that shakti our creative life force lies dormant at the base of our spine in the form of a cold snake regardless of whether this image rings true for you it's well worth considering the amount of unwakened or untapped potential within what would life look like if you woke it up how can you stir it from slumber an experienced yoga or meditation teacher can lead the way make haste the snake card appears when there is no more time to waste when in balance prosperous creative charismatic when out of balance starts and stops many things to so bring into balance kundalini yoga meditation this card speaks to me like are you kidding me and it does connect to me so like it says here and it's the truth i do start things and stop them at certain times and i just that has to change and i just have to come i have to just be one with myself and of course that's how yoga meditation helps out and that's the reason why i like this as well because sometimes you forget certain things i forget that i do have potential and then reading this i'm like yes i do have potential you know i do have what it takes to do what i put my mind to any creative thing and it's that's one thing i've been telling myself and that's really weird is that i keep on telling myself you are creative you can do this when it comes to videos when it comes to anything i'm doing so this is just a boost of energy and a reminder like you are creative you have potential to do whatever you put your mind to let me get ready <laughs> to work out don't mind the boxes right there i have to take them out maybe today or tomorrow but don't mind it <laughs>
always make my protein shake and then while I'm drinking it, I either just chill out, you know, chill with my family, read a book, or I watch my shows that I record on TV. I am not big, like I used to be that type to watch TV a lot, but I am not always watching TV, Netflix, none of that. I prefer reading a book or editing a video or doing something else than just being glued to TV. There are times that I want to watch my shows. At this moment, okay, my phone just rang. Okay, but at this moment, I am going to drink my shake and watch some TV. So at this moment, I'm what the hell? At this moment, I'm going to drink my shake and watch some TV. So cheers to us. I am done with my shake and I just need to go take a shower. I'm gonna take a quick shower and then finish the rest of my morning. snowing it's supposed to snow all day so that means i am staying inside but even that i will still do this morning routine i'll still get up it looks so beautiful i love snow it just first happens after it stops snowing the next day i don't like it because it starts getting like nasty snow or slushy and like dirty so i am reading two books like i said earlier and the reason why is because i'm in a book club with yoga with adrian she also has her own site that everybody can sign up for and it's about yoga but i also found out they have a book club and i was so excited because i've always wanted to do a book club so look at outside it's snowing hopefully you can see it little flurries time to finish editing my video and while I, I edit my video i'll just have the tv playing in the background especially if i'm trying to hurry up and delete some shows I While my video saves, I'm going to read the last chapter that I have to read before I have discussion with my book club. And the book I'm reading is The Little Book of Huga. uploading my video my box charm my february box charm video and i'm just putting my like certain things away that i don't need one thing that i changed well i'm still kind of changing is me being on my phone i will be on my phone if i'm texting somebody that i love like one of my loved ones or like facetiming them but facetime i'd rather be on my computer because i just don't want to be on social media that much i feel like once i grab my phone i'll be on instagram for like an hour or so it's just like you go down that rabbit hole and you don't get out of that i'm trying not to do that because i want to do things that make me happy and going on instagram and seeing what my loved ones are doing or people that i follow that i like watching their stories and stuff like that and looking at their page it makes me kind of happy but i should be focusing on myself more than i'm focusing on my phone being more in the present moment being with my family or just reading or like yoga stuff like that make me feel happier than kind of lost and looking at everybody else's life instead of mine if i have it i'll have it on silent and face down but i will check in here and there just in case if someone called me or text me for the book discussion we had a question for each chapter that we read and we just answer them and then everybody writes their opinion and then we comment on other people's posts we just keep on going back and forth and have a big discussion on this page i'm just gonna do that i hope you enjoyed this morning routine see you guys <laughs>